Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, Sony Bravia, uh, 32 inches. Uh, customer complaining that uh, TV switching on for a few seconds and then automatically switching off and it has a blinking red light. Okay, so first things first, let's uh, plug it in and let's confirm customer's complaint. Okay, so we do have a stable red standby LED. We power it on. Everything comes on okay. We do have picture. And there we go. That was a couple of seconds, maybe five seconds. And then the LED starts flashing. Okay. Um, on these Sony TVs, uh, there's a blink code. In other words, you can count how many times it blinks. And that will sort of give you direction on what might be the problem with this TV. Okay, so let's get a close-up of that uh, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, so that's uh, seven blinks. Um, okay, uh, I think if I remember correctly, seven blinks got something to do with um, temperature. Uh, probably something's overheating. Um, main board, maybe shorts on the power board uh, I also heard of uh, people unplugging the the um, infrared sensor board has also sorted that out okay so um, anyway let's get the back off this uh, TV and uh, go from there okay so uh, Quick overview, this is your power supply board, this is your TCON board, this is your main board or the logic board, you have your power switches and your infrared sensor should be, here it is down here, bottom corner. Okay, um, after first visual inspection I can't really see anything wrong with it as far as uh, uh, solar capacitors or anything like that um, before we get a multimeter on it let's just do the easy things first and let's unplug that uh, that infrared sensor Okay, so we've unplugged that. Let's uh, let's uh, power on the TV and let's see if there's any change. Is the chime um, this board also feeds those uh, those LEDs so we won't get an indication from the LEDs we'll have to just rely on the picture you can't see through the holes here um, the backlight 
so that's a good indication. I'll switch off the light. There you can see through the to the back panel there, all those little starlight. That's our backlight. So okay, so we let the TV on for a couple of hours and everything stayed working perfectly. So um, it's all down to this this board okay um, they call it the HLR board and um, after checking online doing a bit of research they are a little bit hard to come by um, but uh, I've spoken to a few of my contacts on the forums and apparently this is a common issue with the, the Sony's and there is a sensor on the board that senses the um, ambient light in the room to adjust uh, automatically automatically adjust uh, backlight um, power saving and that sort of thing and um, there are 12 wires on this plug and apparently if uh, you uh, cut the 11th number 11 uh, mock that out on the on the connector here uh, you can disable that sensor Okay, I'm not going to cut the wire. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just um, we'll just pull that wire out of the plug. Okay, let's just make sure we get the right side of the, the plug. So 11, so there's 12. So it'll be second to last one from the right. So just using a pin, we're going to ease up the plastic retainer. Try not to stab myself in the finger here. Okay. Let's see if we can get that out. Okay, there we go. So we've unplugged that pin from the connector so we haven't damaged anything right so let's just plug that back in we'll power everything back up and we'll run our tests again So we do have we do have the LEDs working. Where is that thing somewhere? Okay, so the green power on LED that you heard the chime in the background. You can see the backlight working through the holes in the back of the panel. And um, we will run another test for a couple of hours. And hopefully, that little disconnection get this TV back on the road. Okay, so uh, TV's been on for a couple of hours now. Um, when I first did the test, uh, it did switch off and it did go back to seven blinking lights. And um, I've ended up disconnecting. Uh, cable number 12 as well so cable number 11 cable number 12 um, if anybody needs a, a pin schematic for this uh, HLR, HLR infrared board um, hit me up on the email and uh, I'll sort you out so anyway so we've disconnected pin 11 pin 12 uh, disabled the ambient light sensor um, and the TV is working, remote control is working, all the LEDs are working. And obviously we're not going to replace this, this board. Uh, because that, uh, like I said, that sensor you can, you can do without it. 
Okay, just uh, all these little fancy gimmicks. If more stuff that can go wrong. Okay, so I'm going to end off the video here. Thanks for watching. Remember, there's always a fix.